is important that in practicing these exercises you have alignment physical alignment mental alignment emotional alignment and spiritual alignment the physical alignment is your posture spine should be straight an entire body should be relaxed as relaxed as possible and made to be very very soft also tongue should be connected to the roof of your mouth the breath is also part of the physical alignment your breath must be in alignment with your movements inhaling and exhaling must follow a natural rhythmic pattern This will take a little practice, but it's important that you follow a natural and easy breathing pattern, one that's simple and easy for you, and that you don't try to follow the breathing pattern of someone else. And as you continue to train and practice, your breathing will change naturally with that. The mental alignment is clearing the mind having the mind as clear as possible. In fact, with each and every breath, you should focus on clearing and clearing and clearing. Allow all the thoughts to pass away. If they come, that's fine, but let them go. Establishing a mental state of peace. A mental state of peace means standing in a place that says there's nothing wrong here. There's absolutely nothing wrong. And maintaining that mental balance throughout the practice. Also a good idea to smile inwardly to reinforce that. You should maintain a mental stand peace and power. The emotional alignment is also crucial and this means creating and generating the correct positive emotional energy to move through your body and around your body. This is not about thinking positive. This is actually about generating, creating, generating and maintaining positive emotional energy to move through you and around you throughout the practice that you want to have to sustain your life, to bring fulfillment to your life. Whatever emotions you generate during this practice, you will begin to manifest in other areas of your life. So it's important to manifest, to focus, to generate only the emotions you wish to have. So if you wish to have emotions of gratitude, of peace, of love, of generosity, of fulfillment, this has to be generated in this practice. Because as you do so with this physical, mental, and emotional alignment, you will align yourself with the universe and you will actually create the circumstances in your life that will support the emotions that you are generating. Spiritual alignment means do what you know is right. Follow a moral code and establish a personal relationship with God and with Source. With these alignments, you'll find it easier to move through any physical obstacles, any mental obstacles, any emotional obstacles, and also spiritual obstacles. And throughout life, 
you will have the power to flow and to shine brightly in whatever you do and wherever you go. The Hansu form is about appreciation, respect, and gratitude. There are three distinct vows. One for appreciation of the past, because your past is the foundation for what you have today and who you are today. The next one is appreciation for today, because today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. And the last is appreciation for tomorrow, for the future. By having gratitude for the future, we build the future we want to achieve, the future we want to have, we build that today. And we ensure that for tomorrow. Every single thing that has happened in your life is happening and will happen you have power and choice over it. Everything is a result of your physical actions or non-actions, your mental thoughts, your emotional state, and your spiritual alignment. You simply have to choose. Choose to be the master of your life and your destiny. And the first choice is to make the choice. That is the practice of Hansu. The next set of exercises will help you greatly. Take your time and make sure you're well rested. <laughs>